Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm back with the video that I told you about I wanted to share from Tim Foster 405. That's his channel. If you can't see the description box to click on the link, you just type in Tim Foster 405. And the title of this is Amos 8. Destruction to be fulfilled July 4th? Question mark. Okay. Now, I don't know why that just popped up. I got a new email, so the email pops up. Anyway, uh, this he's just throwing out some speculations and admits in the beginning, well, he says in the beginning, he's been studying Amos 8 for five years trying to figure it out. All right, I want to just let you hear a little bit about this. So Amos 8 was never fulfilled in total uh, in, in days ago and years ago. Okay, There wasn't dead bodies piled up on the streets the day before Jesus died on the cross. Okay, There wasn't some strange feast going on. That was your feast that the Lord's complaining about. It was Passover. It was his feast. So, I would say emphatically that Amos 8, this coming uh, judgment where God says, The end has come to my people Israel. I will never pass by them again. This is the people of Israel, obviously, are the Christians of today. So, I just have a study document here where I want to quickly go through this. You guys can download this. I call this the coming day of bitter mourning for Christians. And every year I, I wonder maybe what holiday it is. It's a man-made holiday. It's your feast. So it's Labor Day, Memorial Day, uh, July 4th. Because I always think it's a summer event because it speaks about summer fruit being uh, uh Summer fruit being gathered up into a basket. So this is not a wintertime event. So let me go ahead and quickly go through this. So the prophet Amos was sent to the northern tribes of Israel. And in today, that's that the tribes are led by Ephraim, the United States. He was given a vision of a basket of ripened fruit. Ripe fruit. So those if for those of us who are part of the first fruits, we will be collected prior to to these events occurring. Then the judgments will come upon the people of Israel, Israel, the Christians of the modern era. Amos 8 was never fulfilled in total in times past. Uh, since this chapter refers to your feast, this is not a Leviticus 23 feast. This must be a feast, a gathering, a celebration, a holiday, outside of God's appointed lists, since it occurs when the fruit is ripe, which would be early or late summer sometime. To me, I am guessing right now, I'm just speculating that it could be pointing to the July 4th holiday, which this year occurs over a weekend. Therefore, the first fruits will be gathered before July 4th. Speculation. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is what the Lord showed me, says the prophet Amos. Behold, a basket of fruit. Now that's Strong's 7019. The definition for that fruit is to awake. So why would there be fruit that its main definition is to awake, to like awaken? Remember Jesus says, stay awake. He charges his followers to be awake. And let me add, how many people will that wake up? People that have said, there's no pre-tribulation rapture. Well, yes, I think we're going through some tribulation now, but it is not the great tribulation. They somehow think there's no rapture. That is our promise. That is a blessed hope that we be snatched up, caught up, harpazoed in the Greek. Okay, let me continue. Do not sleep. So this fruit was fruit that was awakened. It's also summer fruit, and it's also ripened fruit. The bride has made herself ready. That's who this is. Right this basket fruit. of fruit is a collected basket of awake, the awakened bride who's made herself ready. So okay, I'm going to end it there. This is a only 
total of 8 minutes and 48 seconds. He sang, it's called Amos 8, Destruction to be Fulfilled, July 4th. See, we will, we will be spared total destruction. What kind of destruction? I don't know. He does, he claims it's a speculation now. But it makes a lot of sense. So I will put the information in the description box if you want to click on the link and listen to the whole thing because there's some in the beginning and then, of course, half more than, uh, more than half from what I, I only played a couple minutes, I think. Okay, so I will end it there. And this is probably all I'll do for today because this is the most I've made in a day in a long while. And I want to say thank you to the subscribers who sent these. And thank you for those who have stopped sending so many. Because I can't share. I might have missed this. You know, deleting some because I have to. I have to. When I get too many, I have to do, delete some. And then I might miss something, and I hate that. So I appreciate those who sent these inf this information to me, and it is it was definitely worth sharing. And I pray that this blesses you and renews your hope that maybe it is soon. It could be. I keep thinking July, maybe July. What other feasts that where people gather summer fruit? I think of watermelon. You always see ripened watermelon at July 4th festivals. And of course, there's, there's others, you know, it could be a Labor Day thing. Did, He's talking about dead bodies in the street. At the time this basket of summer fruits is shown, I reread it. We're spared that. So what if it is July 17th? Or somebody said July 7th was July 17th. And I was like, must be the difference in the Julian calendar. And the Gregorian calendar, and I, I didn't look it up. It just came to me. But anyway, whatever day it is, let's just all stay ready and hopeful. And that, you know, like as if it could happen today. Because it could. We just don't know. We don't, we don't know when our Lord is coming. But we are admonished to stay ready. Lest you be found sleeping, and I come upon you as a thief in the night, the Lord said. So we can't relax and just live like every day, you know, like the future's going to come. And we know we're in the season. We are in the season, and it's going to happen any day. We just have to have that hopeful attitude. It'll be any day. It'll be any day. Okay? All right. I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this one, too. And I pray that it goes up. I plead the blood of Jesus over myself, my computer, my internet connection, and over each and every one of you. Boy, you got the blood of Jesus poured over you four times already, if you watched them all. But I mean that when I say that. And I do it every night as well, so... Y'all get the blood of Jesus poured over you when you watch my videos. I plead that. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you. And all your devices. And your internet connections. So we can stay connected until we're out of here. Okay? Alright. So with that I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later. Probably tomorrow, but who knows what the Lord will send my way. All right, bye for now. Talk to you later.